welcome to Hammersworth Great Barn. It is one of the largest ever known barns built in England. Hello. So we're going to walk through the barn and you can have a look at some of the um, artifacts. So these were the repairs in 2014 of the roof. And you can see here, you've got the new handmade tiles to match the, the old ones and even the, the pegs to peg them in. The original oak pegs, so you can see there. And these are some of the nails and the tools that we used for the repairs. So this is the 15th century oak peg for the rafters. And these are the old nails. So you can see they've tried to repair it as much as possible and keep it authentic. We'll walk down. This is quite interesting. It's called threshing, and this is what the barn was used for. Forty percent of the work in a medieval barn was threshing, and that's um, basically getting cutting the barley and wheat and then having to bash it and tie it into what they called sheaths and stored until it was needed. So we've got a history of how the barn was used. And this is just down the road from Heathrow Airport. So gives us an insight into the medieval architect, uh, agriculture that was used and the work that they did on the farm. Um, this was essentially a farm, so the barn would have been used to store all the harvesting, the corn. And if you look at the um, tapestry that's here, you will see this is the sort of work that they used to do. And you've got this is called a winnowing machine and it was used to separate the shaft from the grain after it had been threshed um, and it, this one this machine was made and used in 1880s by a company from Gloucester so the cereal crops would be gone through this machine um, and harvested and so on. Look at the oh. Oh, oh, oh. floor is really uneven, <laughs> so I've got to watch my step. Okay, so women worked on the farm during the Second World War. And this was a working farm. And it shows you farming in Middlesex. This is called the single hole sea drill around 1925 onwards. Um, 
and this was known as an agricultural county market garden because of the fertile soils of the Thames Valley and then after the war we had um, Heathrow Airport that took over the village large vaulted ceilings So the repairs of the barn that were done in 2014 when English Heritage took it over. They've got these information paddles to give you a bit more information about the barn. Um, tells you about the barn in the 20th century. Gives you information about the, the barn itself and the Paget estate in 1543 when Henry VIII obliged Winchester, to Winchester, Winchester College to surrender the manor of Harmonsworth to him. Um, <coughs> and then you've got the construction of the barn and that was just after 1066 it was constructed. Clone Valley Park nearby, and you can see the bats, what they ate, and it looks like a uh, skull of a bat. And some other animals that uh, frequent the area. Owl. Little owls. Oh, look. The model of the barn and the manor house. I think that's the building that's still outside at the front. So we've got the village here and all the old houses. The sun house is still there. which was in my previous video and then you've got the church and you've got the five bells pub and the crown so they're still there but you can see the forge baptist chapel and interesting how the village has changed so this would be model of the manor house and these would have been the joists in the ground floor ceiling that would have been used in the manor house and that house was demolished in 1820. You can see here the joists. So the ground would have originally been earth which but now it's concrete in areas but it is still earth. So this is the outer wall and you can see here the joists of where this is the original joist i believe and this is the one no 
else. So this is the new joist and the lighter one is the old one and the reason being is that this all had to be replaced because on the other side they built up the earth and it, rot and it made the wood rot so they've had to English Heritage when they took the barn over when they bought the property um, and to restore it because they spent half a million pounds on restoration but that's what they've done so most of it is original but obviously this bit because of this back wall and the issues that were caused um, because they built up the earth on the back um, I don't know why they did that but they did do that so they had to but they've done it they had to replace it but they've done it English Heritage have done it ever so well the restoration um, unless you were looking you wouldn't see it so if you were interested in knowing about the specific repairs you can pause and have a look it's very detailed tells you exactly what they've done also interesting to see that over time but even before English Heritage you've got the different woods on here so over the centuries now the original ones would have been oak so if you can see pine that is not the original because pine's not a natural species of this area apparently so if you look carefully you can see some carvings <coughs> And if we, I don't know if I can see it, but you can see there, number V. And that would have had a V as well, somewhere. And that equates to the fifth block, so that they know which joists go into which section. Because it was all handmade at the time. We've got Elmwood there, I suppose. Some have had to be reinforced due to age. And this is how they would have actually cut the trees. Tree felling. And then to actually make the... Um, the structure of the barn. Big map there of the area in 1936. As you can see, there's three on the side there. Then if the camera could pick it up. And this is the third block. You can just pick it up on the side. Got information about the history of the fire brigade. And they have many events. So there's a plant sale here on the 29th. The fire engine display on the 5th of June. Gives you some attractions of the local area. Very informative. There's lots of information here about the barn and the surrounding area. Right here, there's horse carving at the back. 
Um, so during this restoration, they saw the horse carving, and I don't know if I can get a really good photo of that. There you are. That's the horse carving. Um, that was noticed in 2014 inside one of the boards. So uh, it was um, restored so that we can all see it. So that's it really. That's the barn, but look at the beautiful ceiling. And the people that are here are volunteers and they do it because they love the area and wish for this to be preserved so from 1066 you know it's a it's a very old barn very very old okay interesting fact for you the black tar the color that you see on the outside of the barn is tar the same as what you put tarmac the same as what's put on the roads now this was done to a lot of barns and even inside houses because they had so much of it but they didn't know at the time that it um obviously toxins and everything that it was unhealthy but that is why you will see uh, a lot of barns of this age with, uh, with the, they look black but they're not let's go down and have a look and see if I can see that wall that we were talking about <laughs> look at the bricks that were used and so they've had to repair some of it over the years I wonder if they've dug it out because this surely here is restored this bit here the bricks here that's restored so that must be a new addition I just want to have a look at the back So you can see where the damage would have been done because it's not level the ground is not level at all so this is the bit that would have had the earth coming up to the top um, which is why they've replaced those joists they've done a good job of making it look authentic they really have. I can see that this is original, but that end piece isn't. Same here. That's not original. That bit is. Next to it is not. church in front of us. Nice view of the tower from this angle. If you've enjoyed my videos please hit the like button, subscribe and the bell so you can be notified. In Jolly Geniuses World we make the most of our opportunities.